Hi, baby dolls. It's me, Monique, and welcome to my boutique. So this is another episode of Vlogmas. I'm actually putting some lotion on right now. And I thought that this could just be like a little chit chat with me behind the camera. I know y'all cannot stand that. Please, please, please forgive me, y'all. It's the holidays, and so I have so much that I'm doing. I know you're doing a lot, too. And so I just wanted to just chit chat. My husband kind of tells me all the time that I need to like go into radio. And so just imagine that you're just listening to your favorite radio personality right now talking. And on the radio, you can't see them, right? Correct. So yeah, um, just a little bit of chit chat. I, I just wanted to kind of come on here. I do have a haul here, a small little Dollar Tree haul. And then I've got some other hauls that I want to show you too. I'm just trying to break it up in segments, you know, so we're not talking a whole lot. But I just wanted to see, kind of touch bases with my baby doll, see how you're doing this holiday season. What kind of things are you catching up on? What are you working on? Are you doing any baking, preparing for the holiday? So what kind of things, what kind of things are you working on? So for me, um, we're having a pretty nice holiday party here at the house this Sunday, the 23rd coming up. So my husband and I, we went grocery shopping yesterday for that. And so we've pretty much got everything that we need. I think I might end up buying a lot of bakery goods instead of baking this year. Uh, I went to Walmart. Excuse me, I'm having a little coffee too. But um, I went to to Walmart and I noticed in their bakery area they really do have some pretty interesting things at a pretty reasonable price and so I'm thinking you know what instead of baking the cookies and pies and cakes and things like that just go ahead and get it from Walmart um, I spoke to a lady there that was actually shopping too and she told me that a lot of the items she was like pointing to all the items that she really loved and so she really seemed like she knew that what she was talking about. I mean, really, I was like, wow, really impressed with her. So I think I'm going to go ahead and go that route this year and save a lot of time doing that, <clears throat> a lot of time and a lot of stress. So because, again, our party's on the 23rd and then the day after that is Christmas Eve and then Christmas. So I'm already going to be cooking on Christmas Eve and, of course, Christmas so that's what I'm going to do for the party is basically um, have it catered. Um, and so if any of you have any ideas for the party in reference to little, simple, little, easy things that I can do that that you have tried, they're true and everyone loves it whenever you do it or whatever you have experienced, that's good. Leave me a comment down below because I would kind of have, like to have, you know, a couple of things that maybe I can put together quickly that's very easy. So, yeah, that's that's kind of what I've been doing the past couple of days. I am on vacation until the end of the year. I go back on uh, around the 1st of January or so. So, I'm excited about that. Um, But let's go ahead and get into... Uh, the haul. I'm trying to think of what else I could talk to you about, kind of catch you up with. That's basically it. Just holiday stuff. The house is already fully decorated. Um, I was behind. I didn't start decorating really officially until the 10th of December. So, yeah, I was kind of overwhelmed there for a good week. And so I don't know if you noticed that there was a few days that I did not uh, upload any videos. And that's because I was trying to get my house together, girl. And so, yeah, I finally got the house together. Everything's good. Just need to do a few, a few little finishing touches on the house. Um, and just, you know, I just cannot wait for the 23rd to come and go. Uh, because it's going to be a lot of people here and a lot of kids. And, you know, just the whole anxiety of kids breaking your fine china and things like that. So... Um, I think I'll be okay. I've tried to put away, you know, my really valuable things or things that really mean the most to me. I've put those away. So I'm pretty good with that. But anyway, let's go ahead and get into this haul, girl. I'm just waking up. Like, I literally just woke up like 30 minutes ago. So 
I'm trying to get like energized. All right. And I have like some kind of little sinus thing going on. <clears throat> anyway, um, the first thing I want to show you is this cute coffee cup from the Dollar Tree. And I like it because I love red. Clearly, who doesn't love red? But I'm really, really into red. And so this is the only cup that I got this year. I've got all the other ones from the past years that I really like. And so this year, I only picked up this one to add to my collection. And it's got the reindeer, the cute bell, the stocking. And then it's just got that old script there that says Mary and fa la 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 all the cute little thingies uh deck the halls and so yeah i purchased that and then i had to get i had to girl i had to i had to get the black crayola dough this is called outer space black and so this completed the set for me again i do plan on playing with this play-doh and so i got every single color make sure that the film is over it and, um, yes, yeah, so I have purchased every single color of this. And so, hey, you cannot play with Play-Doh without having the Play-Doh tools. And so, I got this at the Dollar Tree. And I don't know. Oh, it says 20 pieces here. And it actually has a little roller in there. And then all these cute little shapes. Um, yeah. So, you can also get the uh, the cookie cutters from the Dollar Tree. You know, the ones that are shaped like a heart or a star. The really big ones. And then make fake food. Fake cookies. And so, here are some of the shapes that are in here. Like the banana. Looks like a little seashell. Some scissors in here. Um, some grapes. Looks like a person. What else? Oh, my favorite thing ever is an apple. So this is going to be some fun stuff to play with. You know, when my little nieces and nephews come over, we'll have some little things here at the house. So I got that. These are, I don't know, I had a hard time finding these at one point. And so when I saw it, I was like, yeah, finally. So purchased that. And then... I put off buying this for many weeks and I was so lucky to have finally uh, found one because, you know, once you once you see something and you don't get it, then it disappears. When you find it again, you're like, yes, I only needed one. I really needed two, um, one for me, one for my niece, but I'm just going to go ahead and give this to her. And it's the flashing headband and uh, on the back here. You look to make sure that that little white pulley thing is still in there. So that means no one has used it. So, yeah, I found this. And if I can find one more, I will definitely do that. So anyway, that's what that looks like. All right. And then I found some Crayola erasers, pencil tops. And this is a new item. And you get 30 erasers. And they're so cute because they look like a little crayon. The tops of crayons and they've got every color imaginable in here so cute and this is like really I can tell they're really heavy so they're really good quality erasers by the Crayola Crayola brand I found the infamous little tins here and of course you can do all kind of stuff they're meant to put your pencils in pencils and pens and actually, that's what I'm going to do. I, I'm i always losing my pens in my purse. And so I thought I would go ahead and purchase this um, and just go ahead and throw this into my purse. I'm sure it won't last too long because of the metal. It's probably going to get all scratched up in my purse, but whatever. So I got the Let's Be Mermaids. And then my favorite one, which I really wanted, is this one with the unicorn... And the little ice cream cones and the cute little panda and the donut, the tape deck. This is all 80s stuff right here. And I am a product of the 80s. And so, so cute. That's another thing I want to talk to y'all about. Okay, you know how the big craze right now 
is all this blind bag stuff, like LOL stuff that's blind doll, uh, blind bags. Like, you don't know what you're getting um, in the bags. I went to, like, Walmart and Target, and it seems like that is all the rave. It's like they're charging, like, $5, 10 15 20 dollars um, of these things that's in the package, right? And you don't know what's going to be inside of it. I mean, I don't know. When I was a kid, we would just have to put a dollar in the like machine, little gumball machine, or just a little machine. And it would just be a dollar for all kind of stuff. Now it's like they're selling all this stuff, little dollar trinket stuff for like 15 and $20. So not fair. That's a gimmick. And so I'm, I don't know. What do y'all think about this whole LOL surprise stuff and, you know, blind bag stuff? It's cute to open, but the stuff is just like nothing. It's like, come on, world. Where are we at here? But anyway, that's just a little rant. <laughs> um, and so, yeah, I got these two and I thought these were so cute. All right. And then I found some cute little lip glosses or actually uh, lip balms. And yes, I am an avid lip balm collector. I have not collected in a couple of years, but I thought now I would probably go ahead and start a little bit, not with the lip balm tubes, but with the actual shapes of things. So this is supposed to be fruit scented uh, pineapple. And I just thought this was so cute. Looks like you just lift up this portion here and the product is in here. So I'm going to add this to my collection. And then they had a cherry, a small little cherry, but I didn't get that. But they had this watermelon. I thought this was so cute. And this is watermelon fruit scented lip balm. And again, same situation here. So these are just so cute to add to the collection. Um, I love these thin mints right here. I actually did a video of me sampling them. And so I'll probably upload that video sometime this week but this is the thin mints creamy mint and orange centers drenched in rich dark chocolate and oh my gosh becca <laughs> these are so good now don't let the package fool you they are not that big they are very small um but i love these these are so hard to find now so i found them again at this little dollar tree that i go to and they were like kind of hidden in this like little end capped area and it was they were like all hidden and so i went and had, i went ahead and purchased five of them and so my husband and i we were watching a movie last night so we basically ate half of the package so now i have four and a half packages left of these uh yeah these are by zachary these are everything i mean the the regular mints are good but these are so much on a whole different level. I love these. So if you see these girls, try these out and think of me. They are so good. All right. And then also, I finally found the infamous keychain covers. These are by Whim Fashions. They are so cute. And so I purchased the flamingos. Of course, I had to purchase the unicorns because I love unicorns. And so whenever I find something that's on my wish list and I've had a difficult time finding it, I get two, sometimes three. So, because I like to share. So I purchased two of the flamingo, I mean, one of the flamingo, two of the unicorns, and then the mermaid tails. So cute. And I love the color combination of all this stuff. It's just so fun. These would make great stocking stuffers too. This stuff right here is at five below and they're selling this stuff for like three and five dollars and so i'm not really feeling five below anymore at least when i went into five below um last saturday the store was packed the store looked horrific and the stuff was just junk and so i don't know you know what's happening to five below but i'm not feeling that store anymore just personally i don't like it okay and then also I got the uh, keychain cover and this is the cactus. So cute with the little face. All right. So I love these. Those are going to go in my stash. And then last but not least, I purchased the little shadow box with the llama. I'm a llama head. I love llamas. So cute. 
And um, this one is just in a cute little box. It says, hello, cute llama. And I just love the color combination here. I do have a library. And so that's where I put a lot of these shadow boxes in throughout my little book area. And they are just so cute. And so this is it, ladies. I hope that you have enjoyed this little chit chat and slash haul video with me. Um, I'm going to come back a little bit later and show you some more things that I purchased from the Dollar Tree that's more Christmas related. And then also, I did get some cool books, too, that I'm giving away for Christmas. So come back. Check me out, ladies. I love y'all so much. Thank you so much for leaving those beautiful comments that you leave. You really do make my day. I love you, but God loves you so much more. Remember that pretty is as pretty does. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.